Andy is an Italian startup that which delivers AI powered services to commerce businesses. Um, uh, we support commerce businesses to know uh, which products they should purchase, when to purchase them, how much to purchase them in order to meet their customers' demands. So we improve their demand planning and supply chain management processes with our technology and live AI powered services. That's super interesting. So you're working with big companies, correct? Yes, we started working with uh, big companies and we learned a lot with, um, oh, from that kind of experience with very important brands. But the, the vision of Intuend is that we want to um, provide small and medium businesses as well with the same technology and high level services that they, they haven't been traditionally designed for the enterprise world. So that is our mission. We want to do that for small and medium businesses. Great. Okay, so what about interns? Do you I hire interns? Yes, yes, we we had interns um, and we will have interns uh, as well. And uh, it's a very good opportunity to meet new people, to train new people, to share our uh, projects that are uh, in between the education world and the uh, applied technology and the commercial world and internships are the, the best opportunity to do that. Yes, uh, I absolutely agree. So, which kind of background uh, has your ideal intern? Our company needs for uh, data scientists, but just like every other, in, in some sense, digital company, we need for uh, marketing experts and content creators. So, um, I'm currently searching for two kinds of different profiles. The first one is data scientists with a, uh, a strong background in um, machine learning and AI related uh, skills. And uh, the second kind of profile that I'm interested in are um, English native speakers and that can be smart and proactive in creating content and promoting uh, into Andy and uh, uh, enlarging the audience of our potential customers. Okay, so did you have any interns that are coming from abroad yet, or uh, your interns were only Italian at the moment? We had only uh, internships from um, Italy at the moment, but since we, um, in 20 is an international company, we got our first customers in New Zealand, Australia, and then we targeted the um, Italy and the Europe, um, um, I'm always searching for people that has a, that, or, or, or they are native speakers, English native speakers, or they can be really uh, fluent in English. So yes, people coming from abroad, that would be perfect. Great. <laughs> okay, so do you provide also virtual internship? Have you ever had this uh, experience of having a virtual intern and how it was it? Yes, we had this kind of experience. Uh, that was great because when you work with uh, smart guys and they are um, really uh, motivated, so working with uh, virtual internship, uh, that's the same as working uh, with physical internship. There are some, some tasks just like developing code that will require sometimes a side-by-side -side, uh, activity, a physical activity, but when it comes to working on marketing and content, um, it may be a virtual internship as well. That, that would be fine. So you will be willing to have virtual internship coming from uh, English speaking countries, correct? Yes, that would be my preference. Oh, great. Okay. So which kind of soft skills are valued in a, in a startup then, like yourself? Like, what do you value the most? What competencies, uh, like personal competencies, a person should have? What do you think about that? We are a startup. So people um, that work in a, in a startup has to, needs to have some uh, particular soft skills that are not the same of the big companies or the standard employees world. So um, uh, I'm, I always uh, try to find people 
with a huge amount of curiosity and people that are proactive, uh, people that love to do different things and not just the um, activity for which um, maybe I search for them. Because um, curiosity is the most important signal of a potential that they can uh, make concrete with our training and a career path that they, they may have in at end to end. So that is really important for me. And the, of, of course, the capability to work with other people to communicate the right way and the daily motivation to improve. That's fundamental for working in a startup. Especially if it's a virtual internship, all these skills are really important because obviously you don't have the daily feeling or the daily, um, yeah, you don't work with that person like uh, on a daily basis, you are behind your computer. So if you don't have this curiosity or this way of doing the things by yourself, arranging your own work, then it could be a little bit tricky, I guess. Yeah, I do agree. Okay, so um, are your internship paid? How, how long they last? And do you provide any benefits as well? Yes, so um, at the beginning, um, uh, we don't pay internship just because, uh, because usually when we have an internship, they are, um, they are interested in um, working within 20 in order to um, enrich their um, background and uh, in order to know something new. But uh, the, at the other side, I always search for an internship and I invest my time into um, in training an intern because I see uh, in that people uh, someone that can join the in 20 team and so someone uh, to um, that can have a, a career in 20 so I want to see potential in the intern and potentials means that yes I will pay him because I'm searching for someone to join our team so you said before that um, basically at the beginning you only had a curricular interns, so people who are working are currently studying. So they might have uh, done with you like a really short internship, right? A couple of weeks or months, but not uh, such a long time. And so they were not able to stay within 20. So what you're saying to me is that um, you will invest in an intern and pay an intern potentially if it could then be part of your team, correct? Yes, exactly. Okay, great. And uh, so uh, for the position that you're looking for that you told me before, uh, are these internships paid and how long they will last? Okay, the positions we were talking, yes, about data scientists or um, uh, content creator or marketing experts, yes, yes, they will be paid. At the beginning, there will be a first period of training of a couple of months, but um, yes, I see a relationship that has to last at least one or two years. So uh, really, uh, in 20s, um, it's growing. And so we are um, enlarging our teams, the R&D teams, and we are enlarging the CSM marketing team. So uh, I'm searching for talents that will join our team, but not just for one or two months. I'm searching the new um, members of n 20 So that's why I invest my time. And yes, for sure, we will uh, reward uh, the candidates and the, the, the interns with the right benefit and attention. Okay, so what do you think, why do you think that an intern should um, choose a startup rather than a big company? Because usually interns always go for Google, Amazon, <laughs> these kind of companies for, for internship. But I think personally that startup could show you much more on the inside, how does it work? Because you can, uh, I guess, see many different um things inside the startup you can work directly with the CEO so with the, the entrepreneur so what do you think about that do you think the same do you think that um, they should be going more for a huge company so what's the difference between an internship in a big company or a startup what do you think about that 
the amount of skills that are required in order to work for a startup, uh, they are not, uh, that is not um, uh, less than what uh, Google or some other big companies will require in terms of what, are, what is your background and what are your soft skills. Of course, we are on, diff on different scales. Uh, the real advantage in working in a startup uh, is that you will learn three, four times faster than traditional big companies because you will be closer to the management team and close to the um, uh, execution uh, daily activities. And uh, it's really way easier to get in touch with your teammates and people working in completely different um, offices because startups, they have just a few offices. <laughs> so it's physical, easier to do that, but really, I'm joking about that, but it's really, easy to learn from other people that they do a completely different job from yours so you have way more opportunities to discover your um, attitude and to learn more about the potential professional that you want to want to become Absolutely, I totally agree. It's it, uh, we just hired an intern, and she didn't really know what she wanted or what she really was looking for, or what your their skill her skills are. So we thought, okay, we're gonna show you everything that we have. So you're gonna stay a couple of weeks with the finance team, then a couple of weeks with the business developer team, then the marketing team, and whatever. So she got the chance to actually see everything about the startup. So in a big company, Company, you don't have that chance because you get this job, this particular job, this particular field, and then you just stay there and you you maybe um, learn everything about that field, but you you don't get the chance to see much more usually. Yeah. So I absolutely agree that a startup is is a great way to to start and and to improve your skills and to do your first. Uh, learning process uh, in, in, in the work environment, basically. So anything else that you would like to tell us? And also, can interns send you their CV? If yes, to which email? Yes, sure. We, they, can send by, uh, they can send their CVs to benitezacone at in20.com. And uh, for sure, I'm searching for... Um, people that are really motivated in um, sharing their, their background, but sharing their vision within 20. They don't have experience, but they are, uh, internship are just like diamonds, that they need to be um, uh, refined with the right experience, with the right people. And in 20 is a really interesting uh, startup. And uh, I'm sure that uh, interns will, uh, learn a lot with us and we will be happy to to work with them great so thank you so much benito and thank you guys and see you in the next chapter of pleasure and uh, and companies <laughs> thank you bye bye bye, bye.